Good morning everyone, this is Sachin Kiske from Electrical Engineering Department, SND College of Engineering and Research Center. Now, today we are discussing some sensors which are used in PLC and SCADA system. So basically there are two types of the sensor, one is flow sensor and second one is the pressure sensor. And basic types of this pressure measurement then the pressure sensing technology and having some application and RTU system. Here, the diagram represents the flow sensor. A flow sensor is a device for sensing the rate of the fluid flow. And typically, a flow sensor is the sensing element used in a flow meter or flow logger to record the flow of the fluid. As it is true for all sensors, absolutely accuracy of the measurement requires functionality of the calibration. There are various kinds of the flow sensor and flow meters, including some that have a vein that is pushed by the fluid and can drive a rotary potentiometer or similar device. Other flow sensors are based on the sensor which measures transfer of a heat caused by the moving medium. This principle is a common for micro sensor to measure the flow. Flow meters are related to the device called velocity meter that measures the velocity of fluid flowing through them. Laser based interferometry is often used for air flow measurement but for liquid, it is often easier to measure the flow. Another approach is Doppler-based method for flow measurement. All effect sensors may also be used on a flapper wall or vane to sense the position of the vane as displaced by the fluid flow. Here, the second sensor is pressure sensor. A pressure sensor measures pressure, typically of the gases or liquid. The pressure is an expression of the force required to stop a fluid from expanding and is usually stated in terms of the force per unit area. A pressure sensor usually acts as a transducer and it generates a signal as a function of the pressure imposed. For the purpose of this article, such a signal is electrical. The pressure sensors are used for control and monitoring a thousand of every day application. Pressure sensor can also be used to indirectly measure other variables such as fluid or gas flow speed, water level, and altitude. Pressure sensor can alternatively be called the pressure transducer, pressure transmitter, pressure sensors, or pressure indicators, and piezometers, manometers, among other names. Pressure sensor can vary drastically in technology, design, performance, application suitability, and cost. A conservative estimate would be that there may be a over 50 technologies and at least 300 companies making the pressure sensor worldwide. There is also a category of the pressure sensor that are designed to measure in a dynamic mode for capturing a very high speed changes in the pressure. For example, the application for this type of sensor would be in the measuring of combustion pressure in the engine cylinder or in a gas turbine. 
the sensors are commonly manufactured out of the piezoelectric materials such as pods and some pressure sensors such as those found in sound traffic enforcement cameras function in a binary on off manner and that is when the pressure is applied to a pressure sensor the sensor acts to complete or break an electric circuit this type of sensor are also known as a pressure switch then types of the pressure measurement here the diagram shows indicate the silicon piezo piezo resistive pressure sensor the pressure sensor can classify in terms of the pressure ranges they measure then temperature ranges of the operation and most importantly the type of the pressure they measure in terms of the pressure type the pressure sensor can be divided into five categories gas pressure sensor vacuum pressure sensor differential pressure sensor and sealed pressure sensor let us see one by one so gas pressure sensor the sensor is used in different application because it can be calibrated to measure the pressure relative to a given atmospheric pressure at a given location a tire pressure gauge is an example of a gauge pressure indicator when the tire pressure gauge reads 0 pascal there is really a 12.7 psi that is atmospheric pressure in the tire second one is the vacuum pressure sensor the sensor is used to make the pressure less than the atmospheric pressure at a given location this has the potential to cause some confusion as industry may refer to a vacuum sensor or one which is refer to either atmospheric pressure that is the major negative gauge pressure or relative to absolute vacuum third one is the differential pressure sensor this sensor measures the difference between two or more pressure introduced as a input to the sensing unit for example measuring the pressure drop at rock and oil filter differential pressure is also used to measure the flow or level is pressurized vessel and last is the sea pressure sensor this sensor is the same as the gauge pressure sensor except that it is clearly calibrated by manufacturer to measure the pressure relative to the level pressure the piezo resistive strain gauge is used basically uses the piezo resistive effect of bonded or pump strain gauge to detect the strain due to the applied pressure a common strategy type of silicon that is monocrystalline or polycrystalline thin film bonded metal foil then thin foil and filtered thin foil generally the strain gauge are connected to form a viscous grease circuit to maximize the output of the sensor this is the most common employed sensing technology for general purpose Pressure measurement. Generally, these technologies are suited to measure the absolute gauge, vacuum, and differential pressure. Thank you.